So today we are going to take some samples of our soil in our front and backyards in the garden and see what the soil quality is. So Andrea has come back um, for a little visit and she brought a soil core thing. Yeah. So we're going to borrow it. We're borrowing it and yeah. So we'll just choose a spot I guess. This is our front yard. We recently had a driveway move from uh, this location a little over. There's so how it works. Do you have any rocks in there? There's the soil. I think they said three or four inches deep here on the grass parts. And we'll take the grass off. And we have our lovely Chick-fil-A containers down here to place them in. Okay, we'll go get another one. So we need four to five little samples for each, or... I think they said a cup full of Okay, dirt. a cup full of dirt, which, you know, I'm not good at knowing how much that's going to be. So we're trying to spread them out to get a good average of all of the dirt. It's drier and harder here. There we go. Got a little deeper that time, didn't I? That's not as good as soil there. No, it's more brown. More clay. Yeah, right now all I know how to describe is like, oh, that's brown, that's red, that's black. So we're gonna do this probably two or three more times and we'll see what it looks like then. So now we're getting the garden samples and we're trying to go a little deeper on these just to make sure we uh, kind of get a good sample of the dirt that the plants would be in. There's what we have so far. This dirt has been a lot darker, a lot richer than the dirt from our uh, yard, which is, is good. We want the best dirt in our garden if we're going to grow stuff we want to eat with it so that's been good plus it's been fun having Andrea back what do you think Andrea looks like good black dirt good black dirt we'll go over to where the potatoes were get some more. look at our volunteer corn yeah we got lots of just volunteer corn sprouting up everywhere I'm kind of interested to see if it'll actually grow so I don't really want dad to till it in right now but we'll see what happens getting more samples and you can kind of see the rows where the potatoes were here a little better. It's a little weird. And our lonely eggplants and peppers back over there. We're trying to space out our samples so that we fertilize. Oh yeah! <laughs> trying to get a even view of, of the garden. Over there on the left, I kind of used a little too much fertilizer on the potatoes earlier this season, so... They actually did pretty well. They did pretty well. I've got to say that. So, Dad, what are you expecting to find in our, like, in differences from the yard to the garden? I don't know about differences from the yard to the garden, but I'm expecting to find that we need lime, that the soil will be pretty acidic everywhere. So, lime is a base, and from AP Chemistry, if you put lime on acidic soil, what should happen is the hydroxide in the lime will react with the hydrogen ions in the acidic soil and it will create water and neutralize the pH. You know what? If you put lime on soil that's pH value is too low, it'll make the corn and potatoes grow better. That's his scientific explanation. Works for me. I'm just trying to get that college credit, Dad, so you don't have to pay so much for me to go oh, to school. Oh, okay. <laughs> he makes fun of me for being nerdy, and then, you know, I'm just saving him money. He's nerdy, too. Yeah. Oh, well. Eh. Where's some of these are? 